welcome back. So I've had a few comments on some past videos asking me what my graphics settings are or my gamma settings are because there's certain things in my cockpit like buttons, knobs, and gauges that seem to pop a little bit more visually than uh, what people are used to in DCS. And they're correct. Uh, it looks a lot less fuzzy, a lot less hazy. Uh, and uh, it's actually nothing that I'm doing within DCS. It's actually something I'm doing outside of DCS, and it's not video editing. It's actually a shader called Reshade, and I don't know if you would really consider it a mod or a plugin. Uh, the developers call it a post-processing injector, uh, and what's amazing about Reshade, in my opinion, is that it, it makes DCS look so much more sharper, uh, less hazy, gives it a little bit more depth, and it, the biggest piece is it does not affect my frame rate. Now, I don't know if it'll affect yours, uh, but in my experience and people that I've talked to who have used it and my own experience with uh, my time with it, I've never seen it uh, drop my frame rate in any way. Now, there are some reshade presets out there that do affect your frame rate, but usually the ones that affect your frame rate, in my opinion, are way overdone, and I believe in less is more. So... I'm just going to go over the installation step by step and the settings that I use. So let's get to it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to reshade.me. Once you get here, just scroll to the bottom and click download reshade. As of the making of this video, the current version is 4.9.1. All right. And once you've got that downloaded, you want to launch that executable. So uh, wherever you saved it, go find it there, most likely in your downloads folder. Uh, in my case, I've got it on my desktop, Reshade Setup 4.9.1.exe. Double click on it, and that's going to launch the setup configuration. Click, click here to select a game and manage its Reshade installation. Click Browse. Uh, if you let it do its auto search, I've never seen it actually find DCS. I'm not sure why. I guess it just doesn't see DCS as a game. Uh, as a game. Uh, it might also be that DCS doesn't use Vulkan <coughs> yet. Uh, you're going to go to C, the C drive, program files, Eagle Dynamics, DCS World, or DCS World Open Beta, if that's what you're using like me, and then the bin folder. Inside the bin folder, you're going to look for the DCS EXE. That's the main DCS executable uh, that we want Reshade to inject the shaders into. So we're going to double-click on DCS EXE. And because DCS doesn't use Vulkan, we're going to use Direct 3D 10, 11, 12. And here you can select which shaders you want to use. Um, I just leave it to the default, just these top two. You don't need all the rest. If you would like to try those, go ahead and check those boxes. It'll download all of them, install them all, and you can play around with it all you want. Uh, but the way I do it, I just use the default to standard effects and sweet effects by CJ. So click OK. It's going to download those effects files, and it's going to confirm that you want these. Just click OK, and we're done. You can change the location of your reshade shaders folder inside the bin folder in DCS. Um, but I've found the default location is fine. So just close the installer. All right, now you're going to want to launch DCS. Once DCS loads, you'll see reshade loading at the top left of the screen. And once you're in, you'll see it's prompting you to hit the home key to start the tutorial. Go ahead and hit home. And you can go ahead and go through the tutorial if you'd like. I'm going to click skip tutorial. From here, the first thing you're going to want to do before you get started is set a hotkey. And the reason is you don't want to get carried away with this uh, and, um, and overdo it, and then you're not really sure what it looked like before. Go to Settings tab up here at the top. The first one is Home, and that's the overlay that we're looking at right now. Uh, the next one is the Effect Toggle key. Click there, and I use the end key. You can set it to whatever you want. Just click there and then hit the button that you want to use for the reshade toggle key. And then click home. Once you're here, uh, you can now start hitting the end key to see the difference of vanilla versus reshade turned on. So vanilla, reshade on, vanilla, reshade on. You can already see the difference here. So once you're able to do that, you should be able to go through here and start 
adding things. So you can uh, add something. These are all shaders. You can add like the cartoon effect one, right? And I don't see anything. Oh, there we go. Turn it on and now it looks like a drawing, right? Um, so you can play around with these. You can uh, adjust the sliders uh, and get it to where you like it uh, and uh, turn it off, turn it back on, compare the two, and get it to, you know, massage the settings where you like it the best. I'm going to go through the settings that I use. I really just use curves and Luma Sharpen. That's it. And uh, the settings that I use for curves, which is the first one here, I'm going to come down here. I'm going to turn, uh, move this slider up to 750. So all the way up to 752. And you can click the left button two times, 750. All right. And for the sharpen, I like to sharpen up DCS quite a bit because it just looks a little hazy, a little fuzzy to me. So I bring this all the way up to 2.0. So all the way up to about... 1.997892.0. There we go. Hit end. And again, it's looking good. And uh, I usually leave. Oh, no, no. I move this up to about 50. That's about right. That looks good. Looking good. All right. So then I hit home and this menu will go away. And there we go. You can already see a huge difference. So let's go in and take a look at it in the sim. I know this is just the menu. All right, here we are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look down at the cockpit and zoom in a little bit here. The gauges and stuff. Get this down to where the contrast is good for the frame rate counter at the top left. So that's the default DCS frame rate counter on the top left. Uh, looking like... Uh, uh, 120-ish, something like that. I'm going to turn uh, the reshade on. Stays 120, 130. Turn it off, 120, 130. On, 120, 130. You can see it's not affecting my frame rate. If it is, it's, it's so little that I'm not seeing it. Um, and uh, that gives us this great uh, look and feel to DCS. Um, so if we look over at the clouds and turn it on, you're going to see you got a little bit more depth, a little bit more contrast, lights on the wingtips look a little brighter with it on, just against the contrast of the wingtips. The outside view looks amazing in my opinion. Here we turn it on, and you can see the panels a lot better, a little bit more defined on the rivets, the fasteners. Off, on, off, on. So I hope this helps those of you who have been wondering how the heck Eagle Dynamics is able to make their videos look the way they look. I mean, mine don't look as good as theirs, but this is definitely helping a lot, and it doesn't affect your frame rate uh, very much, if it does at all. So, reshade. Reshade.me. Check it out.